a $1,000 Iowa wardrobe versus a $4,000 Iowa wardrobe. Is it worth the difference? Well, in today's video, we're going to be asking that very question. And we're going to be finding out which collection of glasses that I've created is worth the money. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. But there never is just a perfect pair of glasses. It's always an eyewear wardrobe that is gonna be best for you. And an eyewear wardrobe, in theory, gives you versatility for glasses you can wear in different situations with different outfits, at different times of the year, and in different occasions. So I've limited myself to three pairs working within a specific budget. On this side, we have roughly a $1,000 budget, and on this side, we have, well, more than $4,000. So there were no limitations, really. And it's gonna be really interesting to see which frames I picked to make up that eyewear wardrobe and to compare them against each other. So without further ado, let's get into it. It's worth knowing that on this side, I used roughly half the budget on one pair. And that is the Reykjavik Eyes Rikard. And that's for a reason, because if you want a great pair of everyday glasses, I so often say that Reykjavik Eyes are the go-to. Especially if you're not looking to spend a ton of money. I mean, these are not cheap frames. These are roughly $500 on their own. But you can also spend a lot more than that on a pair of glasses. Does spending more give you a better pair of glasses? No, and that's the beauty of Reykjavik eyes. They are as good as it gets when it comes to comfort and they are as good as it gets when it comes to durability. And stylistically, I think they're pretty cool as well. The Rikard has become one of my personal go-to pairs of glasses over the years. In my case, I have it with a 25% gradient pistachio tint which I think really completes it in this green colorway. But the Rikard itself is just a great everyday frame that you can somewhat dress up, but is mainly a bit more casual. So if I was looking to spend roughly $1,000 on three frames, the fact that this takes up half of that budget, I think it is worth it because for your go-to glasses, you probably do want to spend a bit more on those. The Rikard is typical of Reykjavik eyes. It's very Scandinavian, very minimalistic. That's a cool look in and of itself as well. And you'll see that I've contrasted that against two slightly bolder frames in acetate. So that gives you versatility in terms of having something that's a bit more subtle compared against something that's a bit bolder. So uh, on that subject, let's try the next pair, which is the Cook from Walter and Herbert. Now, Walter and Herbert are a British brand made here in the UK, just down the road from our store, actually, over in Liverpool. They make really good value acetate frames and kind of like the mid-range. So these are more like around $300. And I think the quality to price ratio on Walter and Herbert is excellent. What we see here is an acetate front with traditionally riveted hinges that fuse on a metal temple with the Walter and Herbert logo actually engraved into it, which forms a really beautiful filigree pattern. These are a little bit more dressy, and that's why I've picked them alongside the Rikard, because you've got then your more casual, everyday look, and you've got a slightly more formal look. But there is some crossover there as well. I think you could definitely wear these with jeans, and you could definitely wear the Rikard with a suit. I do all the time. And I think if you wanted to enhance this pair further, whereas the Rikard would probably have a permanent tint rather than being adjusting to light, the cook you could definitely make as a photofusion pair, and these could look really nice as sunglasses too. But as with any glasses collection, I have picked a dedicated sunglass, which is the Gast Jan. And Gast are just the best value for money frames on the planet. The Jan is a great example of their craftsmanship because this is finished in a really thick cut of acetate, particularly on the temples. You know, these have very thick temples, which does make them very protective in the sun as well. But I think this is a sunglass that is very versatile too. You could definitely dress this up and down, so it's covering a lot of bases. Being made in a classic tortoise shell, you can't go wrong with it, it's timeless. But gas frames, as always, just look so much more premium and expensive than they really are. So this frame comes in at less than $200, and that completes our three pair Iowa wardrobe for under a thousand total. And I think between the three, you've got a lot of versatility. You've got tortoise shell, you've got black, and you've got green. Versatile, classic colors, so it gives you a lot of options, but all also neutral enough where you could go out with just that one pair and not feel restricted. So I think with the Jan being this almost wayfarer but slightly square shape, the Cook being more geometric and unique in that sense, and then the Rikard being a slightly aviator because of the double bridge, but more rectangular frame, you've got a lot of variety in shapes, colors, materials, and finishes. So I think that makes a great eyewear wardrobe for someone who wants to invest in their eyewear and wants to really look good and feel good in their glasses, but doesn't necessarily want to spend a fortune. 
However, if you do want to spend a fortune, I have some options for you. And my go-to pair within the luxury three-piece eyewear wardrobe is the Luca de Stael Zeppelin 04. This time finished in olive green leather and um, I didn't plan on that and I didn't even realize until now, but I have gone for green as the primary color for the main option within both eyewear wardrobes. That wasn't conscious, but clearly I've chosen green for a reason. It's because I think it's an interesting color that you can wear almost with any outfit in almost any situation, especially balanced with the whiskey leather on the inside. Now, these are not quite as comfortable as the Rikard, but they're not far off either. And I've often said that Luca de Stael are the next best in terms of comfort and durability after Reykjavik eyes. But in terms of presence, they have so much more. And I think these look like a more luxurious pair of glasses. Now, I love minimalism, so I'm definitely not against the Rikard, but if you're looking to spend more on your eyewear and you want something that is that little bit more flamboyant, then Luca de Stael is the way to go. These frames are handmade in Paris from pure leather all the way through. And there's nothing quite like them. You know, if you are not constrained by budget and you want something truly special, I think Luca de Stael are one of the brands to look out for. However, that frame is good, but would I want to wear that style all day, every day? No, I wouldn't. And I would want something to balance it out. And that is where I've picked the Arlem Plus Dauphine which is a beautiful sun clip model from Arlem in Paris. Now, this frame is just so elegant and classy. I think both of these options can be dressed up or dressed down, but the Place Dauphine is just an incredible shield shape gold metal frame. There are so many beautiful touch points, whether it's the way that the lens rim overlaps on itself to form a double piece of metal at the bridge, whether it's the custom engraving on the temples, the beautiful looped temple tips, which I just adore, and the fact that this is gold plated, just everything about them is stunning. And arguably they are even nicer than the Luca de Stael. They're certainly a little bit more ornate and look that little bit more beautiful. But then of course you have the secondary utility, which is with the sun clip, because once we attach this on, you then have an amazing pair of prescription sunglasses. And I chose this for a reason, because the sunglasses I've gone for as kind of the main sunglasses are maybe a bit much for wearing in some situations. So this gives you a slightly more understated sunglass, albeit one that still looks fantastic. And having a pair within your collection that is both glasses and sunglasses in equal measures just gives you so many more options. I love the way that Arlem have done their sun clip because it actually folds away comes in a really neat leather pouch. So it's very easy to carry on you just in your top pocket. So that improves the utility. And even on the sun clip, Arlem have not spared any expense because they've gone for that etching pattern around the lens rim. So the Plastophene is just an absolutely amazing frame. It was very close to making it onto my shortlist for frame of the year last year. And the only reason it didn't is because the Harold from Barton Pereira won the year before, and that's very similar to this. But if anything, Arlem have outdone Barton Pereira because this has even more quality finishing and attention to detail. And speaking of quality finishing, what luxury eyewear wardrobe would be complete without Cartier? And one of my personal favorites is the Redwood Premier de Cartier from 2022 now. You could customize this with any shape you like, but I actually really like the stock shape on this one. And it's one of the few Cartiers where I would consider keeping that. What we see here is 23 karat gold finished with the traditional three ridges of the Premier de Cartier. I love the high looped bridge and the screws around the bridge as well. And the redwood is just so Cartier, isn't it? It's so luxurious and it, it screams opulence. That's why I've balanced it out with the Plastophene because it gives you that slightly more understated sunglass. But for your best pair of sunglasses, this would be it. And in the wood as well, it's just supremely comfortable. I love the feel of the wood frames. So that completes the most incredible luxury eyewear wardrobe. I mean, these on their own are worth roughly around two and a half thousand dollars. So they have to be special, and they are. So that completes my luxury three-piece eyewear wardrobe. How do you feel that compares against the budget three-piece eyewear wardrobe? Because honestly, I would be happy with either. I think this one is way more understated, maybe more to my personal taste, this one is just super special. Each pair you can put on and just be so excited to wear every day. I don't think you would ever get bored of any of these three styles because they're just so special. They are some of the most magnificent examples of glasses the world has ever seen. Whereas these three are just great glasses. So I'll leave that up to you. Let me know in the comments which one you would choose and whether you think this collection is actually worth the difference. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this video, if you like this concept, make sure to give us a like and 
I'll come up with more eyewear wardrobe concepts for you. And make sure you're subscribed for more of the best eyewear content on the internet. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye bye.